So I watched Rich over the beard, 16. Uh, I'll put him over here in the corner for his channel. I'm gonna do one based on his video. And, and then I'm gonna try to use the colors. Now I don't, I don't have a silver. I've got a pewter and I've got orange. So I'm gonna go with the colors he used. I'm gonna do it a little bit differently, but I'm gonna do it kind of the same. So I'm gonna use the orange and the, the pewter. I might have a silver. Let me look somewhere else. So anyways, you see me, I cut some of them in half. And I got uh, stabilized them. Now I know he didn't do that, but I did. <laughs> so, so I got all different sizes of pine cones. Uh, I didn't really clean any of the goo off of them. I'm just going to snap it off as I see it comes right off anyway. So, um, so yeah. Let me get this in here. We'll get some res resin mixed up, and uh, yeah, we'll see what it looks like after we get it out of the pressure pot. I don't know. Should I put all the little ones in the bottom? Sounds like a plan, don't it? So before I pour these, this is pretty close to what Rich had, other than my orange isn't quite like his. Um, his is a little oranger. But now his changed colors, and I expect mine to do so also. Uh, he used a clear. I'm actually going to run two oranges. So I'm pouring, uh, what is this, that's 7, 725 for each of them. So um, 21, 20, 2175, that's what I'm pouring, right? Is that right? Yeah, 2,175 grams. Yeah, that's what I'm pouring. Uh, this powder uh, is something I bought like when I first started, so it was one of those wish things. It's not mixing very well. It keeps coming back up as powder. It's really old, so I don't, but it was silver, <laughs> you know? But we'll try to get this going over there, and hopefully with as much resin as I am going to currently pour, this does not overheat and crack. All right, so the weight is uh, HDPE blanks on top of my waste block, and the weight is just wide enough to hold the cones down. Hopefully that holds it all in. suspected it changed colors just like Rich's did 
so um it, I, I have a little bit more orange i'm not sure but his looked more like this where it turned silverish colors although it looks really cool um i do have some cavities and stuff that i might have to fill i don't know we'll see i'm going to eyeball center well not eyeball i'm just going to kind of rough roughly measure it we'll get it on a lathe and start turning it So now that if I've got it up here, <laughs> the colors are really cool looking. Uh, I'm going to try to get this around because it, it's wobbling right now. So I'm going to try to get it around and then we'll go back and repair what we need. And I'm just going to mix up some clear orange and run down in these. I, I don't expect to, this is the high spot. So I don't expect a lot of this to be there. Some of this will be gone. So I'm going to turn it down first and see where we're at, but looking from the other way, like this one's okay. This one goes down inside of the pine cone some, so we'll, we'll see, you know, this one will probably go away also. And then that one goes down inside. It might be minimal repairs when I get to it. But anyways, 1250. <laughs> I wasn't trying for this look. It looks like my pine cones are on fire. <laughs> it's really cool looking. Um, I'm going to keep going with it. I still have some spots here. You, you, you heard it bouncing. So like you see here, 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 here. So I'm going to try to get around. What I did forget was that the stabilized pine cones are really hard on traditional tools. Uh, I found that turning them with carbide is a much better plan but i'm going to continue to go this route unless it just i'm sharpening too much so for right now uh the tool's going dull pretty quick so that's why i kept flip-flopping around uh yeah this one here i'm probably gonna have to fill i don't know about that one because you see all the uh might have to fill that one this one will probably be down we'll see i'll be back i sharpen the tools get into it the more cracks I'm finding you know I knew I was pushing my luck I said so I poured it uh, let me see what I can do uh, or maybe I'll put something up here cover this this put it in the pressure pot and hopefully we can get that so we get some things cut up 
silicone down there or hot glue down. Okay, <laughs> well, I got this loose, but I got two more to repair. All right, uh, is that one? No, there's one right there. And then there is another one that runs right there, I believe. That's it, yep. Right there. Uh, I think I'm more right after that. I'm not gonna make you watch that.
See what happens when you pour too much resin at one time? <laughs> so I'm going to turn that all the way anyways, but hopefully I don't have a whole lot I have to fix. Because um, that's just horrible. Uh, but that's what I get for pouring so much resin. You know, I, I expected it. I said so at the beginning. Um, just hoping I can get rid of most of it, and then anything that's left over, we'll try to patch that up when I get this down to the end, really. But whatever, let's get back to turning it. Beer by 16. Yep. Inspired by the Beer by 16 anyways. So I haven't uh, shouted Rich out in a long time. A couple years anyways. So we did a Invades where he was live. 
and I was live and he kind of did the tour of my shop so we'll put that over there in the corner if you all want to check that out um, so I, I did everything like Rich did I told him I was going to copy it uh, and mine turned out much differently and I think it has something to do with you know the, the thickness of the resin because the resins aren't created equal but uh, so I used the silver and the, and the orange like he did not not exact same colors uh, for the most part it looks good over here it's like a hundred yard bowl because <laughs> if you get up in here uh, there you go you see all the all the cracks in that from my exothermic reactions because some dummy poured way too much resin <laughs> so i had a lot a lot a lot to fill now it looks good you know i got it i put my logo in i painted it orange so it's subtle in there you know, oh it's not very there we go keeps focusing on me I think <laughs> but for the most part um, you know I use stabilized pine cones and, and I, I like it it looks nice um, I did have a lot of issues the videos a little long because of that uh, but this was more about I haven't shout rich out in a while and I seen rich did a video and I'm like hey you know I, I'll do that why not <laughs> and then send you all over to rich rich needs you all to come over and watch his video Go watch this video, please. <laughs> Give him a thumbs up. Uh, he's a really nice guy, you know. I've known Rich since I started this, so. But anywho, um, I'll try to keep this short because video is long. Mine, mine. Uh, I think this is what Rich wanted was this flame look to it, and I believe his resin was just too thin. Uh, so he may try it again. I don't know. Um, this, <laughs> the effect is really 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 nice I, I probably should have um, cut the pine cones down a little bit more and not done you know this much resin and done this much resin around this time and I might not have had all the exothermic cracks from doing you know three inches by two inches <laughs> all the way around my fault you know push my luck <laughs> so I will put some pictures up at the end I'm uh, aside from the cracks. I'm happy with it, but like I said, I'll put some pictures up at the end. Um, give her a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Uh, go over and check out Rich. Um, Y'all have a nice weekend, and we'll see you next week. Bye bye.